It's Now Again. Welcome back to It's Now Again, the podcast where we explore mindfulness practices from a secular, evidence-based perspective. I'm your host, Jeremy West, and today we're diving into a topic that's at the heart of meaningful communication, mindful listening. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in our own thoughts, judgments, or the urge to respond, often missing out on truly hearing the people we're interacting with. But when we bring mindfulness to our listening, we can transform our conversations and deepen our connections with others. Mindful listening is the practice of being fully present and engaged when someone else is speaking. It involves setting aside distractions, judgments, and the impulse to plan your response while the other person is talking. Instead, you focus entirely on the speaker, giving them your full attention and respect. This kind of listening can be transformative, not just for your relationships, but also for your own sense of peace and understanding. When we listen mindfully, we create a space for the speaker to feel heard and understood. This space, of, this space is free of judgment, allowing the speaker to express themselves fully without fear of being interrupted or misunderstood. As a result, the quality of our interactions improves, leading to deeper trust and stronger connections. One of the key challenges in mindful listening is quieting the mind's chatter. Often, when someone else is speaking, our minds are busy thinking about what we're going to say next, judging what's being said, or even getting distracted by unrelated thoughts. Mindfulness helps us recognize when our attention is drifting and gently bring it back to the present moment. By focusing on the speaker's words, tone, and body language, we can stay fully engaged in the conversation. To illustrate the power of mindful listening, I want to share a story called The Empty Cup. A university professor went to visit a famous Zen master. While the master quietly served tea, the professor talked about Zen. The master poured the visitor's cup to the brim and then kept pouring. The professor watched the overflowing cup until he could no longer restrain himself. It's full! No more will go in, the professor blurted. This is you, the master replied. How can I show you Zen unless you first empty your cup? This story reminds us that in order to truly listen and learn, we must first empty our minds of preconceptions, judgments, and distractions. Only then can we fully absorb what the other person is saying, just as the empty cup is ready to receive the tea. Mindful listening requires us to approach each conversation with an open mind, ready to hear and understand rather than to judge or respond. Now that we've explored the concept of mindful listening, let's talk about some practical techniques you can use to cultivate this skill in your everyday transactions, <laughs> interactions, I should say. Number one, set an intention. Before entering a conversation, especially uh, uh, an important, serious conversation, set an intention to listen mindfully. You can use the intention setting method I often recommend framing it as a question. For example, how many more ways can I continue to be fully present in this conversation even more? This intention helps you to stay focused on the goal of mindful listening. Number two, focus on the speaker. When someone is speaking, give them your full attention. This means making eye contact, nodding occasionally to show that you're engaged and resisting the urge to interrupt or plan your response. If you notice your mind wandering, gently bring it back to the speaker's words. This is where meditation, uh, if you do daily meditation, that's amazing practice to help you be mindful because uh, meditation is a controlled environment where it's just you and you, uh, there's nobody else there and unless you're doing group meditation, obviously. But um, it's a controlled experience where... All you do is pay attention to your breath. And because that's a boring experience for most people, 
it's challenging. Your thoughts will continually wander and you will continually notice your thoughts wandering and bring your attention back to your breath. And the more you do this, the better you get at catching yourself when your thoughts have taken you somewhere else and bringing yourself back to the present moment. So that's why we meditate. We meditate as a practice in a controlled environment. And then you can think of everything in daily life as any time you want to be present, such as conversations, you can think of that as meditation. You're meditating on that person's words. And every time your attention wanders, just like with meditation with your breath and bringing your attention back to your breath, when you're having a conversation, every time your attention wanders, you notice, you allow that thought to pass like a passing cloud while you focus your attention back on the speaker's words. Number three is to reflect back. After the speaker is finished, take a moment to reflect back what you've heard. This can be as simple as saying, what I'm hearing is, or it sounds like you're saying, reflecting back not only helps ensure you've understood the speaker correctly, but also shows them that you're truly listening and valuing what they're saying. Number four, practice patience. Mindful listening requires patience, especially in conversations where emotions are running high or when the the speaker is struggling to articulate their thoughts. Give the speaker the time they need to express themselves without rushing them or jumping in with your own thoughts. Number five, let go of judgments. As you listen, notice if any judgments or assumptions arise. Instead of clinging to these thoughts, let them pass like clouds in the sky. Remember, mindful listening is about hearing the speaker's perspective. <laughs> mindful listening is about hearing the speaker's perspective, not about agreeing or disagreeing with it. Number six, breathe and ground yourself. If you find it difficult to stay present, use your breath as an anchor. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, ground yourself in the present moment. This simple practice can help you stay centered and focused on the conversation. Mindful listening is not just about improving your communication skills. It's about cultivating deeper, more meaningful connections with others. When you listen mindfully, you're not just hearing words. You're connecting with the person behind those words, creating a space for genuine understanding and empathy. That's it for today's episode. I hope you found some valuable insights into the practice of mindful listening. Remember... Every conversation is an opportunity to connect more deeply with others. And mindful listening is the key to unlocking that connection. If you're interested in going deeper into your mindfulness practice or need more personalized guidance and improving your communication skills, I offer one-on-one coaching sessions where we can explore these topics together. Visit jeremywest.net for more information. You can also check out my new Pay What You Want Patreon at jeremywest.net, where you'll find a growing library of mindfulness practices, including guided meditations to support your journey of mindful living. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, share it with others who might benefit, and rate the podcast. Your support helps us reach more people and continue exploring these important topics together. Until next time, keep practicing, keep growing, and remember, it's now again.